Monday, Amy and I took Ulysses and Molly and Henry to school. This morning, we rushed them out the door. Janine gave them a ride to Mesita and to Wiggs. And I got to tell you, there's some part of me, and there's a big part of me, that wants to stay here and be with my family and be with my community. I love El Paso. There have even been some who've suggested that I stay in Texas and run for Senate. But that would not be good enough for this community. That would not be good enough for El Paso. That would not be good enough for this country. We must take the fight directly to the source of this problem. That person who has caused this pain and placed this country in this moment of peril. And that is Donald Trump. I want to be the leader for this country that we need right now and that we do not have. Someone who will not only not tear us apart, but do everything within their power to bring us together. Someone who doesn't inflame, but instead heals. Someone who doesn't work with fear, but instead hope. In other words, I want to be the kind of leader for this country that El Paso has raised me and taught me to be. But as we head back on the campaign trail today, I know there is a way. I know there is a way to do this better. And, and that came to me last week. Someone asked if I was going to be heading back to Iowa to go to the Iowa State Fair. Corn dogs and Ferris wheels. And I said, you know, no, I can't go back for that. But I also cannot go back to that. The kind of challenges that we face in this country at this moment of crisis require an urgency. Unless we want to reap the consequences of failing to meet them. Consequences that we lived and I hope learned from in El Paso on August 3rd. And so to those places where Donald Trump has been terrorizing and terrifying and demeaning our fellow Americans, that's where you will find me in this campaign. From El Paso, we're heading to Mississippi to be with those families who have lost a loved one temporarily, maybe for the indefinite future, because of the hostility of this administration towards immigrants. And I want to be there to help lift them up, to tell their story, to remind this country just who we are at our best.